What's going on? This is another clipboard conversation. I'm Sam Perley from Hornets.com, joined by head coach James Borrego. Coach, thanks for taking a little time talking with us today. Obviously, I know the next couple weeks are starting to get busy. Before we get into workout bubble, though, obviously some good news last night. P.J. Washington named to the second team All-NBA rookie team. What was your reaction about him receiving that particular honor? Yeah, it's a great honor for our program, for him. Um, you know, so much goes into this. You know, he has to be drafted and mention his group. Um, they identified a, a heck of a player. Um, and then P.J. put the work in. You know, he had a, a very good season. Uh, the best is yet to come, and he, he's a worker. He wants to get better, but extremely proud of him. Uh, I think it, again, uh, speaks to uh, our program and what we're trying to do here, but he's a big part of it. Uh, extremely proud of him, and uh, as I said, I think the best is yet to come for him. It's the good news coming up is next week you guys will begin the out in market workout bubble as part of the program of the teams that weren't invited to Orlando. What was your initial reaction when you learned that your team and staff are going to be able to get together and do these group workouts together? Well, it finally gave us some type of clarity, you know, that we could move forward with and, and, and build towards. So um, it's been a tough, you know, it's, I think we're at six, six months now, roughly, since we've been together. Um, but we'll take it. You know, it's going to be a couple of weeks. We're extremely excited just to be together once again, working, connecting, uh, eating some meals together, playing some golf, hopefully. Um, but, you know, more than anything, working on the floor, you know, watching these guys play five on five, one on one, two on two, and just being around each other again, building our program, our culture. And uh, so it's an extremely important time. We have great buy in right now. I think the bulk of our guys will be here. Um, we have a good situation going right now this week. So I feel good about it. I'm excited. And uh, we're ready to go uh, get into our bubble. And you talk about doing those group workouts. Right now, you guys have only been able to do individual workouts one-on-one -on -one with a player and coach. Being able to get everybody together, for those that don't know, how much more beneficial is that for a team compared to what you've been allowed to do the last few months? Well, yeah, the individual is obviously a part of what we do here and trying to get better. But there's nothing like being together as a unit, as a group, uh, talking the same language, connecting um, you know, we, we will feel like a team again. And right now it's been a little bit more isolated. And I give our staff a ton of credit, our players a ton of credit. They've stuck with it. Um, through all this, we've stayed connected somehow, some way. Uh, but this will be big for us, being back together, building our team. Uh, you know, we have a lot of ground to make up. A lot of these teams, as you saw in the bubble in, in Orlando, that was a significant amount of time for them, five, six weeks of good basketball, good, you know, team building, chemistry building. And we've got to make up ground right now. And that's what we're going to do. We're excited about that. Our guys are bought in. They're ready to go. So I'm really interested in the plan for this. This is obviously something that has not really ever been done before. How much of your strategy going into this is picking up where you left off in March and kind of getting better, everybody back up to speed versus trying to implement new habits, schemes, things like that? Or do you kind of have a balance between the two or is it more of one side and less of the other? I would say less, less new concept, less, less of, you know, that, that we'll have time for that as we move towards next season. I think right now it's really about connection, uh, trying to reestablish, reconnect together as a team, having fun, competing, um, really stick into those, those main pillars for us. We want, we want to enjoy our time together. And, uh, but more than anything, get out on the floor and compete. Uh, enjoy playing five on five. Let them get a feel for one another again uh, before we start introducing new concepts. Um, so we want to get back to where we were. Obviously, we need more time than two weeks to get back to where we, where we were, you know, when this whole thing came to a close. But my hope is that by the end of that second week, we'll, we'll be much closer to that point. Um, and I think we'll get there. But a lot of playing, a lot of five-on-five, five, a lot of competition uh, for these two weeks. So it sounds like connection and just rehashing that connection has been kind of the focal point. Do you have sort of a grand plan? You don't necessarily have to reveal it now. Um, but do you have sort of a plan of what you want to accomplish? But going into it, you know you're going to have to be kind of flexible and patient because it has been, like you said, six months since the team has collectively been together and played in this kind of fashion. Yeah, I wish I could tell you how, you know, what it's going to look like or what it's going to feel like. I, I think it's going to be very fluid on, on how we do this. And um, 
I'm just going to have to read it as we go. You know, I don't know where these guys are right now. And, um, you know, I think it's part of this just going to be evaluation, seeing where our guys are, how they're feeling, what they look like. And we don't want to push it too much right now. You know, we want to make sure they're healthy. They have not played uh, live, you know, in, in a number of months. So we got to make sure we do this the right way. So a little bit of fill out process, some fun, some competition. Hopefully by that second week, we're moving pretty well. So that's my goal is that we build a good base as we head into the, uh, the remainder of the, off, the uh, off season. Looking ahead towards the 2020 slash 2021 season, where do you feel like your team could make the biggest jump and what's going to be key to making that jump? Obviously not necessarily trying to accomplish that this two weeks, but where do you feel your team can make the biggest strides as you look forward to next season? Well, we got a lot of ground to make up, you know, watching these, these playoffs and, um, you know, looking back at our season, there's a number of areas we got to improve in and, and we were improving and we have to continue that. Um, you know, and, and it's both sides of the ball, Sam. I mean, it's, uh, it's our development program. It's our offense, our defense, our identity, but I do believe we have our identity established and uh, we got to continue to uh, establish that as far as our, sh our shot selection, we've got to shoot the ball better next season. And I believe we will whether, you know, we're adding those shooters to our program or developing shooting. Um, you got to make shots in this league. And I think we've seen that in this bubble in Orlando, the teams that have success every single night are the teams that can make shots and they can make plays. We have to become a team that, um, that can make shots from the perimeter. And I do think we got to finish better at the rim. That's one area we've, we've hit this year is uh, our shot selection, you know, getting to the rim, uh, shooting the three ball at a high clip, but we got to be more efficient in those areas. Um, and then obviously playing a little bit faster, we got to continue to pick up our pace. Um, those are areas we're going to continue to try to improve in. Uh, defensively, we're always trying to improve defensively. I think, you know, we, we got better as the season went along. Uh, we got more physical. I think the one area we got to improve in is on the board, though. You know, we got to collectively rebound better. And that's just, it just comes down to will, want to, desire, physicality. And we can do that. Uh, I do believe we'll be a much better uh, rebounding team going into next season, which will really make us a better offensive team as well uh, as we get out and try to play a little bit faster. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, we'll, we'll get better. We'll, we're looking at our personnel. We're going to add, you know, some really high-level pieces out of the draft, um, which is really important for us. You know, we're going to identify some, some nice young talent uh, for our roster. Um, then you look at the uh, free agency as well. We're going to obviously be opportunistic there in free agency. And then uh, the third piece, as always, is our development program. Internal development uh, will be key for us. It's always been key for us, and I don't expect that to change. What's, so when this two, two and a half weeks is all done, what is going to be the key to sustaining what you guys are able to get done during this period from then until the next point you're able to meet again with the challenge being, you don't necessarily know when the next time you guys will all be able to do these collective group workouts again. It might be when training camp starts, but obviously you don't know when the season begins. What's going to be the key to kind of sustaining from now until the beginning of the season? Well, I wish, you know, when, when you always have a plan and you have clarity, you know, um, for our guys, you can build a program out. Right now, we don't have that clarity. All I know is that we have a bubble for two weeks that we can build and grow in. And then from there, we're just going to have to adapt. I think our players are going to have to adapt. They're going to have to be resilient and, um, and adjust a, as we figure out this schedule moving forward. Um, I'm just excited to be together. I think let's build the base for the next two weeks. Let's see where we're at. Um, let, let's build some excitement for our group internally. And then what, whatever comes, you know, over the next couple months, we'll figure out as we go. Uh, but right now it's really about getting the most out of these two weeks and then adjusting from there. I think our guys, they want to be around each other. They want to continue to work. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing more than anything. Do you have a group of guys that want to work, that want to get better? And, you know, we can't allow this, this, um, this time to disrupt what we're trying to do. You know, it's been very disruptive. Uh, as far as our schedule, our development. But these two weeks will be extremely important. And then we figure it out as we go. But uh, more than anything, our guys are workers. They want to get better, and they are getting better. 
you've mentioned a number of times this summer that just kind of simply, I just miss my guys. I just want to be around my guys right now outside of the, the basketball component. How much can this two weeks just be emotionally beneficial to the team? You, get, you mentioned the guys want to be around each other. You want to be around the guys. It's after doing individual workouts and Zoom calls for so long, can this provide sort of just a, a nice emotional moment and have some fun together as well? And how much of that is a part of it is, is in addition? It might be more important than the basketball, to be honest with you. Um, you know, we're, we're building our team. We're building trust. And that trust and connection doesn't just happen. You know, uh, the Zoom calls are great. Um, the, you know, the emails, the back and forth texting is great. But there's nothing like being in person, having that human connection, that human element. So I think more – I love the basketball piece. I think that's, that's going to be exciting. Watching our guys compete and play live, that's fantastic. More importantly, probably just going to be how we build away from the court. You know, all those meals together, um, you know, bonding over, you know, a, a meal, a, a movie, um, just, just these casual conversations are, that are going to happen over the two weeks. To me, that's what really elevates your program because it builds trust, it builds connection, it builds buy-in, uh, it establishes your culture at an extremely – high level and that's what we need that's what we're that's what we're trying to build here and uh obviously the, the court's going to be important but I, i'm more excited to you know get out on a you know the golf course with some of these guys or play a, a round of ping pong or pool or tennis or whatever we put together it's a it's a it's a heck of a list though sam we got a lot of stuff that we got planned and i'm not sure our guys are going to want to leave this this bubble you know i'm gonna i'm not <laughs> you know that's my goal is maybe they'll they'll try to you know uh, extend this another week but um, yeah I, I think I think that's the, you know the biggest piece I'm excited about that and uh, you know planning meals together sitting together watching a movie together and then competing together that's that's the goal of this thing is compete have fun and reconnect I had one more for you but you brought up the, the golf and the ping pong is there anybody really good golf game yourself ping pong is there any any skills that you know of anybody that's going to be trying to show off during this uh, this two weeks well, Zeller says he could hit the golf ball. I, I think I'll have to see it, you know, I'll have to see it to believe it. Um, you know, there's some guys throwing around ping pong. They got ping pong game, but, you know, uh, I'll, I'll take my skill. I'm ready. I'm ready to take them out. I'll, I'll let you know how the ping pong tournament goes. So um, if I'm not in the final four in ping pong, I'll, I'll, I'll be very disappointed. So um, pool, I, I'll do okay at pool. I'll work on my golf game there, hopefully a couple, you know, a couple days out of the week. And uh, I can't guarantee that I'll be able to hit that thing after a week or two, but I'll give it a shot. And a number of our guys, they, they haven't played a lot of golf or tennis. Um, here's, here's a little bit of time to work on their game and, and have some fun at the same time. But um, it's just going to be fun. I think we're going to have a great time together watching basketball, competing, playing some games, a lot of card games. I think there could be a few card games that go on as well uh, late into the evening. So uh, really, really looking forward to it. So you'll be coaching them up in golf and everything else as well on top of basketball. Absolutely. No, I need um, some help on the golf. I, I need, I need to find myself, uh, maybe Mitch or Buzz can help with that, but. Uh, Dell's good. Uh, I don't think he's going in. Dell's a good golfer. Yeah. Yeah. We could use some tips from him. Uh, I think we, we could use some tips. Nobody should listen to me on golf. So, um, you know, I'll stick to the basketball and the ping pong. Cooking. Cooking. Um, yeah, yeah, cooking. Wrapping up, when this is all said and done, first week of October, whatever it is, what do you want to be able to look back and say you guys accomplished? What will deem this a successful two-week period together? Well, just being back together is going to be a success. I, I, I don't, you know – I don't know how this is going to go. We're going to, we're going to figure it out as we go. I'm just thrilled to be back together. I, I think this is a win for us no matter what. If we approach this the right way, if everybody buys in, um, if I see an engagement from our players, from our staff, which I anticipate there will be, um, it's going to be a successful couple of weeks um, just to be back together, uh, reconnect. So um, I'm excited. I, I think it's, uh, I think it's going to probably go better than I expect. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm, I'm believing for. And uh, I'm just thrilled to be back together. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. We're excited to see it. I know you're excited. You can tell just in your emotions, the players are excited to get everyone back together. It's going to be fun next couple of weeks. 
um, and getting geared up for the following season. So thank you so much for joining us and uh, best of luck with everything there. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.